It's that time again. I got a 1970 Impala up here at Maple Motors at Hendersonville, Tennessee. It's got a small block 350 motor in it. And I want to take y'all for a test drive. This car is sweet. Beautiful paint job on it. I'll be doing a walk around description video, pointing out any kind of flaws on that paint job as well. But as for now, we're going for a ride. Let's take off. All right, guys, I got a 1970 Impala here. We're gonna go for a test drive. It's trying to sprinkle on me, but if I don't get this test drive done right now, it might be two days before I get another one. Um, they're calling for a lot of rain coming in. So I'm gonna take off down the road, point out any kind of flaws that I can find on this car. When I get back, I'll do a walk around description. Let's check our windshield wipers before we get going too far. Let's see, I think they're getting caught on the hood there. There it goes. It was, it was getting caught on the hood. They're working, but they don't seem like they're working exactly right. So it looks like they're getting caught. But I'm gonna point out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly how this runs and drives when you get here. The steering wheel looks like it's coming apart a little bit. Needs a new centerpiece. Probably just need a new steering wheel where it's missing some pieces. See if we can get this blower motor to work on here. Don't look like any of the air controls and stuff are gonna work. It's showing 66,978 miles, which the, da the dashes can be changed out. Make sure my hood's down all the way. Looks like it is. So I can't stand behind the miles. Car is slightly pulling to the left. I mean, ever so slightly. It's nothing major here. Speedometer's coming up. We're gonna stop and put a little bit of gas in it. The gas gauge looks like it's working, but I wanna check it for sure. I don't think the uh, kick down's hooked up on this one. Check our brakes out. The brakes feel good. So the tint on this car needs to come off. It's all changed colors. It's purple now. Been on here a long time. Suspension felt pretty good while we were riding down the road. We got some gauges right over here. It's a temp gauge. It hasn't came up yet. Our oil pressure gauge is working. It's at like 60 pounds. Turn signals are working on the dash here. The light is out on this side. I can hear it clicking, but it, the light is out. I'm gonna put a little gas in it and we'll keep riding on the test drive. So I'm gonna throw about $20 of premium fuel in this car. And I'll check the gas gauge out. So your gas cap on this one's right here. It's got a locking gas cap as well. I'm gonna fill her up. All right, a gas gauge is on the left here of the dash. Try to zoom in on it. 
We'll start it up and we'll see if it moves. It does. All right. It's time to roll out. As you can tell, steering wheel needs a little bit of repair. Look across the board here. You got your gauges right here. The temp gauge is not hooked up, so it's not working. We got those back panels behind the seat here. It runs and drives really good. Steering's nice and tight. Brakes are nice. Throttle feels good. The kick down's not hooked up, but it gets up and goes pretty good too. So that got up to 60 from 40.
See, it's getting hung on that hood. It's because they put the trim on the hood there. There's a big bump in the road here. We'll let this guy get ahead. Okay. I'm gonna hit this bump. It's right here. Nice and smooth over that. Training seems like it's shifting perfect. No issues there. Had a little pop from the back end there when we came over the off the road there. We didn't hit the grass or anything. It was just like a little ledge on the road. Sounded like the spring back there. Or part of the suspension. We'll look up under that on the walk around. I'm gonna pull back in the lot here. I'm gonna have to clear some cars out of the bay. Try to get it lit up. This rain's starting to set in. I just got this test drive in before that happened. I was hoping to try to get another one done. If it does break and give me a chance to, I will. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any other questions, please refer to my website, maplemotors.com. You can get 100 detailed pictures of this car or any car on the lot. Also got financing options and transportation options on that website. So if you go there, you can answer the majority of your questions. And if it don't, give me a call. 615-822-4444. I appreciate y'all watching. Please share this video. Uh, that's the only way my videos get out there is y'all. So thanks again. Y'all have a good day.